This video is going to be about how to optimize your NVIDIA control panel settings and how to do the best setting for your NVIDIA GPU for getting the better performance while you're gaming on your any PC or laptop. So guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video and with wasting any time, let's dive straight into it. So guys, in the very first step, it's always important to update your NVIDIA driver on the latest version. So for that guys, open up GeForce Experience application and go for the driver tab and there you will find that check for update. Click on this button and there you will find out if any latest update of the driver is available on your PC or not. Now in the next step, you need to open up NVIDIA control panel on your PC and guys, go for adjust image settings with preview. So now go for the use the 3D advanced settings and once you select out here, now go for take me here and this will take you into the many 3D settings of the NVIDIA. Now the very first step guys, it's always important to turn off the image scaling because it's causing the input delay and low FPS while you're gaming competitive games like Fortnite, Valorant and uh, Warzone. So guys, simply turn it off. Now scroll down and go for low latency mode and set it onto the ultra. Here is some other settings like anti-stropic filtering, anti analyzing FXAA, anti analyzing gamma correction and anti analyzing mode. You need to simply set it onto the default values like it is. Now scroll down, go for max frame rate and set it onto the off because this will limit your FPS. Now go for monitor technology and set it on your G-Sync or V-Sync, whatever you have. And after that, go for power management mode, set it onto your a prep for maximum performance and select out here your GPU for the OpenGL rendering GPU. Go for this drop down and select out here your GPU model. After that, scroll down. Now go for threat optimization, turn it on. Go for texture filtering quality, set it on to the higher performance. And once you apply the settings, now go for the next step, which is configure surrounded physics X. So guys, go for physics X settings and there you will find out this processor. Click on this drop down and select it on your GPU model. After that, now here is some display settings. So you need to go for adjust, a desktop size and position. Now go for the scaling tab and there you will find out the full screen optimization. Simply select it. Now scroll down, go for performance, scaling on, set on your uh, display. After that, scroll down and select out here your resolution and the maximum refresh rate of your monitor, uh, which is available. Now after that, hit apply and save the settings on your NVIDIA control panel. So guys, now you need to download MSI utility on your PC for optimization of your NVIDIA graphics card. So guys, for downloading this tool, open up the link from description and join my Discord server. After that, go for this download tab and there you will find out MSI utility version 3.zip file. Make sure to download the same exact version. Click on the download button and you will download the zip file. After that, here you will find out Chris Tutor's optimizer. So click on this download button and download this txt file also on your PC. So once you download this both file on the very first step, here is our MSI utility interface. So you need to go for your GPU, whatever you have. So here's my NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. Go for it. Check mark onto the MSI box. After that, go for interrupt purity and now set it onto the high performance. Once you select out it on the high, now you need to go for your USB drives if you want to get the lower input delay. So go for your Intel USB 3.20 extension. Go for the checkbox of the MSI and set the interrupt priority onto the high. After that, hit apply and guys, that's it. Now close out your MSI utility. So guys, now in the next step, you need to open up Chris Tutor's utility.txt file and copy this command from here. Now go for your Windows search and search for PowerShell and make sure to run this as administrator and hit yes. I'll paste here this command and press enter and guys here you will go to interface of the Chris Tutor stack windows utility this will help you optimizing your windows tweaks and this is completely free and safe so guys now in the very first step go for tweaks tab and there you will find out all the recommended settings i suggest you to go just with the desktop if you have a desktop if you have a laptop so go with laptop if you want to apply the minimal settings so go for the minimal or if you want to clear all the settings click on the clear button and here is the get installed button so i will go with desktop after that click on the get installed and this will start downloading and installing these services and tweaks on your uh, windows so guys after that here you will find out the theme for the windows like dark mode or light mode this is your personal preference after that here is the bing search bar in the task menu simply turn it off after that go for performance power plan and click on the add and activate ultimate performance profile once you click on this button, this will create the ultimate performance power plan on your windows. And after that, it will also apply that. Now the next step, go for the next option, which is config. And there you will find out the features. After that, here is the fixes. Then here is the legacy windows panel. Like you can uh, change the settings of your windows. So guys, simply go for the power panel and there you will find out all the available power plan of your windows. And I suggest you to go with the Bitsum highest performance if it is available on your PC. And I already have made a dedicated video how you can uh, grab the Bitsum high performance on your PC. 
if you not have this power plant simply go with the high performance or ultimate performance power plant this is also better so guys now the final and the last step we are going to do this some configuration so guys for that you need to press windows r together from your keyboard and now you need to type here ms config and press enter simply go for the boot tab now go for advanced option and check mark onto the number of processor click on this drop down and select the highest number available in this list so i have 16 so i will go with 16 hit ok hit apply and click ok after that now you need to one time register your pc therefore all the changes take effect after that launch your favorite game and enjoy the best performance with your nvidia control panel and your nvidia gpu so guys i hope you love this video please make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel until the next video peace out